So if we want to figure out what's happening with this graph, we need to at least know, even know what the absolute value graph looks like. Well, the absolute value graph, remember, has a vertex here, slope of 1, slope of negative 1, right? So now, if we're looking at uh, 2x minus 1, we've got to think there's a couple things that are happening here. Um, first of all, this graph is being shifted, not one unit to the right, but it's being shifted. No, it's being shifted one unit to the right. It's being to the right, but it's not one. What you need to do is set inside your function, set it equal to 0. And you get x is equal to 1 half. So this graph is actually crossing at 1 half. And then the slope is not at um, the slope is not at uh, is not 1, like it was here. It's not up 1 over 1. Now you have kind of a new slope of 2. So it's like up 2 over 1. Okay. Now they're saying to us for us to evaluate between 0 and 2. Now I could find this the kind of the easy way. I could just plug in 0 and I'd get 1 here. And then if I plugged in 2, I would get up to 3. Is everybody saying oh, I'm getting 1 and 3? I basically just plugged in 0 and got negative 1. Absolutely, negative 1 is 1. Okay, And then I got into 3. Um, and then I go from that plugged in 3, which gave me 6. Oh, that ends up, that ends up giving me 5, right? When I plug in 2, oh yeah, I get 3. What am I doing? I'm going crazy. All right, do we have enough information to find the length and the width of each triangle? Yeah, of course we do, right? So from here to here, let's do this in a different color so we don't get confused. Where's all my colors? Oh, there it is. Why do what? What goes back down? Three to zero. No, this is the x-axis. That's the y-axis here. Sorry. There. It goes to 1 to 3. All right, so from here to here is 1. From here to here is 1 half. Yes? From here to here is 1 and 1 half. Does anybody know what 1 plus 1 half is? 3 halves. And then from 0 to 3 is going to be 3. So now again, we're looking for the net, net change in this area. We both have two positive areas. So all we need to do now is just add them up. And again, our goal is, oh, we didn't actually do this one yet, did we? OK. So if we go and do this one, um, so therefore, did I write? Since we're not evaluating, we can just write down what the areas are going to be. So we can say 1 half times 1 times 1 half. And then plus 1 half times 3 halves times 3. Let me just double check my. Yep. Because we want to find this basic, this total area under them. So when we simplify this, we get 1 fourth plus. 9 fourths. Would equals 5 halves. Does anybody want to type that in a calculator and verify?